Hey guys, I'm Sanna and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of beauty and skincare products all under 1000 that you can buy in the past. I wanted to try all of this product before reviewing it so I had to wait a little while and that is why I will probably not remember the prices for everything but I can assure you that all of these are under 1000 rupees because when I was buying them I made sure to check the price to be below 1000. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. So I'm going to be starting with skincare products and I want to talk about these products first because I got these at Salisbury in my local Salisbury. So I told them very very clearly that my skin is super 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 extra dry and it will not say dry skin could lag in a whole your products on your and actually maybe they are but they just didn't suit my skin so well because I've tried better cleansing products I am not very happy about this one it does say it's from normal to dry skin but it didn't fit my dry skin very well because I didn't find it very moisturizing like the other cleansing lotions so maybe this would be good for normal skin I know and because there's turmeric in it I, th I, I was excited about that part I had never used like turmeric or skin products before so I wasn't very happy it's okay I would still use it if I didn't have my first choice of cleansing lotion it would be like my backup thing but it wouldn't be my first choice and the second product is going to be this Garnier could BB cream you know how like foundation my every single day I, I actually don't wear it every single day like most of the days but I'm not uh, only foundation lounge bani but with your full coverage they bani but your BB cream so you don't really get satisfied with okay it does sound very good but the coverage ko kaan lega that's it I was not very happy only got this sticky like you might you would say I mean I love um chillu faces and chillu Dikhne cream haru, but this one so I wasn't very happy because a little sticky kalko chillo okay? not the nice kind of sticky. Your product say I would probably give it a second chance, like feel like take longer to use this whole product and test it out and see if I can be happy with this because I feel like this does have potential. The third product is this Himalaya night cream and this one is my absolute favorite from all the products that I'm going to be talking about right now probably because I've been looking for a night cream forever like by the uh, skin routine got you but then I would just use my normal moisturizer that I use poly positive and I didn't have a specific night cream and this was the first time that I got a night cream and I am so happy about this one. First of all, the package looks super expensive. And you call them kids. And it smells really good too. I've always been a fan of Himalaya. Like it's so moisturizing, but not like this. It's like quality moisturizing stuff, you see. I really feel the difference of this one. Like my Zunzun din light I could instead of din and I can feel the difference like very heavily the next morning. This product I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. Like I said. I was trying to try a lot of BB cream and I made Sati Lizzy your Lotus BB cream use got and she told me the coverage is pretty nice for like daily use for like with your banana and I wanted to give this one a try too. And it says BB mattifying glow fairness cream. Why is everyone trying to be fair? I did use it in our house funny egg sorry and I thought it was okay. I was probably hungover to like notice anything, but I gave this one a try. And I don't like this one because of my skin type. I think if I had dry skin, I would probably be very happy with this uh, this um, BB cream, just like my friend. But um, I just thought it was too dry for me. That's the only thing. Now the next product is I roll on. I have been starting to notice a lot of like like around my eye. If the may dry on, so I moisturize for nibella. Madzali pugi ko under no cream or roll is just so. So I have been meaning to invest in eye cream or room. So this one I got it in bad but On your eye roll on cream. This is not a cream razor. So I couldn't buy the other eye cream, but I saw this Garnier Co eye blah 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 like you could cover ma and I and then I've laid on like package colour, but yeah I realized that it's not a cream razor, it's just an eye roll on. But I'm like satisfied with this product name because you take it, it's a very eye roll on it. So, and it's a very akhamazi roll for the kitty. It's like kind of like a massage for niches. And it made a gets really, really puffy. So, I think this is good for me. I forget to use this 
but I should carry this with me in my bag, you know, like especially when I'm puffing it, so like daytime, evening time, you know, and so be able to be fresh, so you know. So I should carry this with me and use it more often. I am happy about this product. Moving on are these two products my mom bought for me yesterday and she buys me VLCC products all the time and I absolutely love VLCC products and VLC, but because my mom buys me VLCC all the time I don't like buying it myself even if it's not so expensive so VLCC called moisturizer say this is also hands down one of my favorite moisturizer can anybody I remember two years ago my skin was so bad especially winter time my skin my skin was so 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 bad at that time and this was my savior. The VSC for my whole set I use for like cleansing milk, the clear, uh, face wash, the clear, uh, moisturize, the whole set use for too. But because I, I like trying out new products, I wasn't using it recently. So I used the later IO, so I'm very happy with this one. You like I said, I absolutely love the VSC honey moisturizer because it's very moisturizing, it's affordable. And it's very nice and I feel like it works on my skin very well. Okay. So you also want to try guys and I'll be honest because he's a bakery with a bike. No, actually I did try this on this morning. My skin uh hat my lagai and it's pretty nice. Uh not very greasy because my body was I don't want it to be too greasy. Oh this one's 600 Lisa. Okay, yeah, but this one I am satisfied and I'm not too worried because this is VLCC and I've been using VLCC for a while and I absolutely love it so um, I'm pretty sure I'll be happy with this product as well so those were most of the skincare products that I got in like normal supermarket but with me Salisbury the next product that I'm going to show you is going to be more like beauty products now I'm going to talk about a store and I think that's going to be my new favorite cosmetic store especially because everything is reasonable Imported makeup stuff for in Palma. It's so 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 expensive. So this was one store that I found it not to be overpriced uh, Maybe they will sell it like we can see if you more than what the actual price retail price is I know but it's gonna be worth it because in Palma found enough and I don't mind paying like two three hundred rupees extra But I definitely do mind paying like what two three thousand rupees extra. I'm not gonna pay that much so your parcel is uh, what is it called? Pretty click. Yeah, I wanted a primer. Honey, this primer was probably about nine hundred rupees. This is Elegal Pro Pri Pro. It does say it's a smoothing face primer, and it is very smoothing. Like face massage, I'm thinking, well, okay, yeah, massage glide and so honey. Uh, this and it's very nice for my skin. I love this product, and I will definitely be buying more of this. Now the other product is this Elegal. Pro BB cream and this one is also one of my favorite from this entire haul. It's a BB cream and like I said, like BB cream or someone say I think I have a problem with the coverage because I'm so used to like foundation. On your BB cream because the coverage was it's pretty nice for a BB cream. And the third product is going to be Giordano Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick. So what I really like is that this one's a little more bronzish and I use it on my eyelid. I use it as a highlighter. It's so nice. I just like put it on my skin like that and then sorry, sorry, rub corsa. Now I am going to move on to one of my one of the stores that I've talked about before. And I went back there off the night, nah? and the guy was so happy. So here's also a moment to thank every one of you who watches my video and who went out there and told him about this uh, about the video that I made because he was so 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 happy to see me and he also gave me a perfume as a gift. So thank you guys. I feel like this is a gift that you guys gave to me. So I'm so happy about it. Thank you. This is not a part of the haul because this is probably not below 1000. But I just wanted to show you guys this perfume. Moving on to the actual haul. So as I was talking about eye cream before, more you were talking about the kitty say, I forgot what the name of the store is. Beauty store? Probably have to check out my previous video, but you time I say I got this eye cream and like I said like multi button everything was above 1000 eye cream kalagi you know and here I asked them for eye cream but everything was pretty expensive like above 1000 and there was this one cream that was this was 550 I think and this cream is from pharmacy F A R M A S I I just wanted to use eye cream because I wanted it to be moisturized especially the corner theater 
I mean, this one does the job really well, so I really like this one. I thought it was gonna be more gel based or something, but it turns out it's just like hard cream. Um, but it does the job pretty well, so I'm happy. I went to this drawer and I saw this eye tape, and this was the eye tape that I used before, and I was so happy to get this eye tape back because of so many reasons. First, Minisuka eye tape is thinner, and I was thinking that it would be better if I had like thinner eye tape, but then. Thin vibes, it can't be bio one. Do I tip say me thick thin? I can like all the thin too. So when I took it out from the paper, curl hun too, and it would be so difficult for me to like place my hand. Okay, like aka ma, it would be so difficult. And this one's a little hard. This like was pretty easy and thick bunny. It was easier actually because to shape me long so I look you. Then I did try I tip from Miniso, and I wasn't happy. So I think this will be my. The only eye tape that I use. Now, this lip gloss. I love, 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 love this lip gloss. My lip oil, let's say, sales very much. I don't remember how much, but definitely like below 1000. Sales very much. My lip gloss. I loved it because it was so glossy. I love that it's so glossy. And in Nepal, I was there when I tried to buy gloss. Gloss my gloss. And I don't like that. This is like. Color is a matte, so like no chili mini, like sort of finish the glossy. Again, I love it. I like, you know, it's not the colors that are mixed with this nude or okay, I'm not color for this. So, and before my seals were making it, that I used it within a month. My oil lipstick was last longer, and I'm like struggling to finish it. So, like, that was the only lip gloss like when I buy that. And I was, and I looked for it again. I went back to Salisbury, I didn't find it. And you, Thomas, I saw this lip gloss again, and I'm so happy. It's my brand sand keeping the so I don't know. Oh, oh, wait, it is Essence. Essence, this song. This is the final thing that I bought in the store, and don't judge, but it is a Morphe palette. Okay, my explanation, my defense is I wanted to get it's the color color, is it? It's the eyeshadow, ma. Like orange, red, more like. Brown, like like basically is the colors. I wanted to get is the colors the eyeshadow. Only every eyeshadow palette that I looked at everywhere, they would have like one of the colors that I like. Only I didn't feel like it was worth buying the whole palette just for like one color. I waited a long, long, long time to find eyeshadow. I find a palette like this. I went to a lot of like places that had genuine products, and I was ready to spend the extra money. But the problem was. I wasn't ready to spend that much money when it is okay. So I was satisfied with a couple of palettes, maybe like one or two palettes I saw around. And they were bigger palettes and they were like well known palettes on Instagram. They're popular and they're good and they're nice. But they were priced $70 or 7,000 Nepali rupees. I am not going to spend 7,000 Nepali rupees for an eyeshadow palette that, that I will not use more than a year. I will spend that money on skincare, but I will not spend that money on eyeshadow. So I didn't buy the eyeshadow, but I did want colors like this. Ani, I went to the store and I asked him to show me a couple of eyeshadow palettes because I had been looking for it's the colors for a very long time, and he showed me probably like 30 eyeshadow palettes. So I know he was so tired. He was so tired. Bizarre. On this picture, 30 eyeshadow palettes. I got. This one, and I was so happy because the color I was like, oh my god, I love it! All the colors that I want. And I was so excited to try this, and I tried it on. But I am not very happy because, and this was like 750 rupees. So the price model of the expect money got a As long as I got the colors, I was happy. So your color because it smells in so the colors look beautiful. It doesn't look exactly beautiful. Okay, I am not really digging it anymore. Okay, I don't know what's the problem, but I was I I wasn't as happy to use it as I was to find this palette. About your price, ma. You want the the key that I'm pound any pound, no. But your colors will be the colors that I will not use for more than one season. 
Ani to say I'm okay with it. I am actually using uh, one of the colors. I think I'm using like this one and this one and probably like one of the glitters. I've been using this one a lot lately. So yeah, guys, that's all for my beauty haul this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want to see more of the things and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.